What's up, gamers? With Grounded 1.2 being released yesterday, it is time to start making some tutorial video, guys, to help you all out. Uh, today's video is going to be dedicated to coziness. How to get your coziness level up, if you didn't know. Uh, the new coziness update, it more or less is your comfort in your house. How many different items give you different levels of comfort different levels of coziness uh, to increase. You get a specific buff uh, when you have max level coziness and you also unlock new items every time you achieve a new coziness level. So I'm gonna break it down for you here. We've got our very bare minimum uh, to get actual coziness level one unlocked here. I'm gonna try and blow up the coziness level thing in the bottom corner so you guys can kind of see it a little bit better. Also had to place my uh, camera here so that I could show you guys one uh, coming in here and checking on the coziness level stuff. You guys should be able to see. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I'll move it down to smidge more. There we go. Right there. That's perfect. All right. Uh, this is the pretty much the bare minimum you need to even unlock coziness to get it on the road. Uh, we've got a crafting bench here, bed, smoothie station. We have also a little grass chair. We've got our roasting spit, a shelf, uh, a lean-to, an oven, and a jerky rack. So this is the absolute bare minimum that you need to even get the coziness level started. As you can see here, the actual grass side table is the lowest one. And if I remove this, make a liar out of me. If I remove this roasting spit, there we go. Yeah, so technically we don't need the grass side table, but that's a, okay. So this is the bare minimum. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Yep. Boom. Ha ha. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what it takes to get to level two, level three, level four, level five. Uh, I'm just going to move some items over here real quick. I've got all the rest of everything we need on that side of the house and let's get into it. All right. We're barely level two. We placed this table here and boom. All right. We just clicked over level two. Uh, let you know, guys know what I added over here. We've got the grass table. We brought the basketball hoop, the smithing station. These three guys right here are heavy hitters, uh, pet house, coik chair and berry chair. As you can see, if we go into here, uh, our berry level chair is about one bar. The koi chair is about three bars. And then our pet house is, uh, where's our pet house at here? Um, our pet house is about three and a half. Our basketball hoop's about one and three quarter-ish. Uh, and the tables aren't worth very much, but those get us right to level two here. Uh, so as you can see, standing back here against the wall, we just passed level two. So next I'll show you guys what it takes to get to level three, which is actually super duper easy. We are just going to take these, this broodmother mount. Uh, these are the three actual trophy mounts that are worth a substantial amount. Uh, there might be a good chance that you don't have the B mount just yet, but I just wanted to show you that these three mounts alone can take you from level two to level three. So just like that, actually looks like we're a little bit shy here. Uh, let's grab, here we'll grab this aphid statue. Uh, the aphid statue, if you did not know, is obtainable in the hedge lab. So that should get us there. It's also part of a new thing. I'm gonna make a different video explaining how to get each individual statue, but that gets us to level three. So now you can kind of see what, what we're messing with here. You know, it's still not a whole lot, but it is a lot in the same sense. Um, also, if you haven't noticed, you have to be at least within a four a four block radius, I believe, to get the full effects of everything. Uh, it, might, it might be a little bit bigger than that, but we're going to go ahead and move everything over here to get us to level four, because currently if I stand up against this wall, uh, we are just past level three, which is everything on this side of the house. So let's start moving over some other stuff. Some stuffed bugs, obviously the small ones, just because they take up less area. These will help us out for sure. All right, just moving those stuffed bugs over here is enough to get us to level four. Uh, you know, you could use whichever stuffed bugs you want. All of them give the exact same amount of uh, coziness. If you check it out, uh, we go down to the stuffed bug and just tab down through here. They all give exactly one bar. Uh, the boss ones don't actually give any more. Uh, it's kind of strange that some of these guys have defense, I guess. That's weird. But uh, yeah, they all give the same no matter what. Now with the trophies, uh, these three actually do give a substantially more bigger amount. Um, as you can see here, so these are the regular trophies. They give like a half of a coziness level, but the wasp queen gives five. Uh, and then we go up to the, all right, to the brood mother and the mantis right here. You can see they both give us five as well. So that's a total of 15 coziness just between those three guys there that's absolutely crazy 
All right. And then the hardest part of all of it is taking you from four to five because you're kind of running out of things. But this is where it comes down to go collect your statues. Uh, make sure you get your statues going because statues give a absolute ton of coziness level, like an absolute ton. And there's even more statues than this. So we're about four, we're about four and three quarters now, I think, uh, which we are going to grab the pupa couch because the pupa couch is unlocked um, at this point through coziness level. So we'll grab that guy. We'll grab the grandfather clock. The grandfather clock might be enough to put us, to put us over. Let me stand back here just to make sure. Nope. I think we need all this. I think we need it all. Let's do the trash can. Trash can enough? Nope. All right. So we need the fireplace. Break the fireplace down. Each different one of these pieces actually works as a as a different piece for the coziness level here. So we'll go ahead and stack this up. Obviously, you can make it a little bit prettier if you want. Uh, but this is just pretty much for effectiveness on how to get your cozy level up. And bada boom, right there. There we are, level five. So that is max level. That will unlock everything new for you in the 1.2 update. And as you can see, uh, let's see how let's see how far away we can or can get from this try and tap 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 all right so about so i'm getting four level coziness here so i am one two three four five six roughly about seven i think away so in a seven by seven area that's actually pretty decent that's better than i thought it was going to be but yeah, like over here, I'm getting zero coziness level. Uh, but maybe about here, I start to I start to get the front end of it. Maybe here, I get the fireplace. Nope, no fireplace. All right, there's fireplace right there. So we are two, four, five, about six, about six spaces away. So yeah, that's how you get your coziness level five. Uh, it is kind of complicated, but most of you guys probably already have established bases with most of the stuff in there. Uh, a few heavy hitters I will call out real quick. The pet house is huge. Uh, the pet house gives a bunch. These statues, if you don't have them yet, I'm going to make a video on how to get all these statues because they, I mean, if you go to, let's see here, where's the statues at? Are they at the bottom of this list? No. I can never find what I'm looking for in this. Oh my lord, I can't find it. Here we go, right here. Um, as you can see up here, the coziness level, there's eight and a half bars, eight and a half bars, eight and a half bars, eight and a half bars. I mean, let's do a quick test real quick, just for the sake of testing. Um, actually, I, I think I do believe you have to be in an in an in a enclosed area. So let me just move all this back over here, just real fast, for the sake of testing. If you're still watching this video, that means you're a super fan, uh, and I and I love you. Thank you very much for watching my videos and enjoying my content. Uh, there we go. So we put down two statues. We got to pretty much uh, unlock the level one. Drop another one down, and then we get the man statues. That one jumped us up big time. Um, and then we add the, the fish. So we're up to level two. The weevil statue takes us almost up to level three. And then the aphid statue should put us over level three. So yeah, you can get three levels just from just from finding these guys, which are pretty simple to find. Uh, like I said, if you don't know, I'm probably going to try and make a video on them if I can remember where I even found them all at. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like. And I love you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!